When Americans make a campfire, they usually make some s'mores. In Germany, we don't know s'mores, but we like campfires too. And what we are doing over our campfire, guess what it is? Yes, we are making bread. We're making stick bread to be precise. And I want to show you how that's done. I will show you the ingredients in just a second, but please remember the quantities are on my blog post and you can print that recipe and you can switch between the metric and the US customary system for the quantities. So what you need is flour, sugar, salt, some oil, lukewarm milk and some yeast. And for the yeast, you can use any kind of yeast that you have available. In Germany, we have fresh yeast uh, that is in most countries not available. So I'm using some instant yeast. This time I'm having some fast rising yeast, but you can use any other instant yeast too. Then optional, I like to add some garlic to the dough and some fresh herbs from my garden. If you don't have fresh garden herbs, you can just use the dried store-bought herbs. Making the dough is pretty easy. So I'm starting with the flour. And then I am adding the sugar. Some milk. The yeast. And I'm making only half a recipe today because our family has become a little smaller since my son is back in college. So I stir this a little bit in and give it a moment to activate. And then I will add the remaining milk and uh, a little later the salt and the oil. I'm adding now the remaining milk and put this into the mixer and uh, I will knead this for eight minutes until the dough is smooth and the gluten has developed. During the kneading I will add the oil and the salt. This looks very nice and smooth. Now I could leave it just like that and maybe for kids this will be the best to do. But I like to have it a little more fancy and that is why I will be adding some garlic and some fresh herbs from my garden. So I'm just throwing this in. And for the herbs, I have some majoram and also here some of my basil. Some rosemary. Rosemary is great in bread. I think that's one of the best things you can put into bread dough. I knead this in. That should already be enough. Okay. It smells like garlic. I will cover this now and let it ferment until it has about doubled in size. And um, I will not give it a second rise as I usually do when I make bread. I will continue with a different step, which you will see in just a bit. Let's take a look. This has increased in size. It doesn't look as impressive as it usually does when I make a larger batch, but this will do. So I floured the surface a little bit 
to make sure this is not sticking too much. And I just noticed that this dough is a little bit too, too soft. Let's add a little bit of flour. Okay, it makes it easier to work with it. So what I'm doing now is I'm not kneading or doing anything special with the stove. I'm just cutting it into four portions. And these four portions will now be um, shaped into some strings or logs that will later be wrapped around a stick. So I want to show you this in a bit. Okay, I think this dough still needs to relax a little bit. So I have this branch here that I cut in my garden. And uh, what I usually do when I do this at the campfire, I put this branch over the campfire for a little bit just to disinfect or disinfect the top of it where I wrap around the bread. I feel more comfortable doing that. Uh, you decide if that's something you want to do too. And once I've done that, I then wrap my dough around the stick and like this. Okay, so this goes now over the campfire and while I'm baking this bread over the fire, I'm constantly turning my bread stick and um, bake it from all sides. What you really should be aware of, this really needs some time and you have to be patient. It's not something that goes fast. So if you're doing it with children, I suggest that you use a thinner string of bread so it goes a little faster and maybe even help them a little bit in between so they can relax their little arms and uh, don't lose patience. But it's, it's a lot of fun, kids love it. And once the bread is baked, we either eat it just like it is or with some butter or garlic butter. And that's all that's to it.